Studying abroad is a dream for many people, but actually accomplishing it is not such an easy task. There are numerous hurdles that one need to overcome and financial constraints is a major one. What makes studying abroad easier is scholarships. And today I'm going to talk to you about such a scholarship that allowed me to study abroad for not once but twice in my PhD and also before that during my masters. So if you're interested in learning more about this scholarship, make sure to stay tuned with me. And without any further ado, let's get into this video. So today I'm going to talk to you about the Open Doors Scholarship. It is that scholarship that changed my entire life. Without this scholarship, I would have never dreamt of studying abroad in a foreign country. Studying in the US, in the UK was way beyond my league because of its huge tuition fees. So the Open Doors Scholarship really gave me an opportunity to study in a foreign country that is Russia without paying even a single penny for my tuition. How did I do that? What are the different steps? And how you can also win this scholarship and fulfill your dream of studying abroad is what we are going to talk about in this particular video. So starting off with the home page of this particular website, you can find it in the description box below and also it might be flashing down here. So when you go to this particular page, you can see that it has been successfully building the future together for five years. So this is the fifth year this scholarship is functional. And once you scroll down, you can see that the latest news says that the registration for the Open Doors 2022-2023 will begin on September 15th. So all of you who are planning to study in Russia and you're looking for a scholarship opportunity, keep in mind the date September 15th. That's when this particular scholarship opens. Now once you scroll even further, you can see the different subjects of the Open Doors Scholarship. And oh my god, there are so many different subjects. There's business and management, there's biology and biotechnology, politics and international studies, linguistics and literary studies, engineering technology, public health, clinical medicine, earth science, education, mathematics, AI, computer science, and whatnot. So there's a huge plethora of subjects that is covered by this scholarship and you can choose according to your need and want. So once you have made up your mind for applying to this particular scholarship, what you need to do is go through several rounds of selection and screening. So you can find them in this particular schedule segment of the website. It begins on 15th of September 2022. That's a date when the registration opens all you need to do is log on to this particular website sign up create your profile and start collecting all the documents that you want to submit in this particular scholarship now why do you need to submit all of your documents and achievements so as you can see from september 15th to december 10th you have the opportunity to upload all your achievements your certificates your research papers awards honors any patent that you might have and prepare your portfolio. This portfolio is prepared keeping in mind your subject of interest and once you have built your profile after 10th of December these profiles will be evaluated by experts in this particular fields and after 10th of December as you can see if you scroll down from December 12th to December 21st this will be the first round of the screening that is the grading of your portfolios your portfolios will receive marks on the basis of the quality of your certificates of your achievements your motivation letter your cv and also your mark sheet that is a transcript of marks and once your portfolios are graded the results of the first round will be announced on december 23rd once the results are out, you will get a merit list where you will find whether you are shortlisted for the second round, which is a proctored written exam. And here you can see the dates of each and every subject mentioned. For example, if you are a candidate of business and management, your exam will be held on January 10, 2023. If you belong to computer and data science, then it's January 11. Same goes for biology and biotechnology. Um, if you are 
applying for clinical medicine and public health then it's january 12th and so on and so forth so let me tell you what happens on the second round examination day so this is a proctored exam and you can select your time slots there will be several time slots available and you can select it then on the day of the exam you need to find a quiet place a lonely room where you will be sitting right in front of your computer with a webcam and a microphone the inbuilt microphone of your system on and there will be one person who will be monitoring you from the other end of the system that's called proctoring they will be monitoring your movements and your gaze and whether you are cheating or not so there will be some questions which will be mcq style you have to select one or multiple answers some will be a long question some will be mathematical problems and some will be essay type questions you will be allotted a total of 3 hours time in which you have to answer all of these questions now it's not a very difficult exam but it still has quite high standards so you need to prepare for this particular exam in advance so maybe start preparing just now so once you're done with the exam from january 11th to 23rd there will be the grading period when they will be analyzing your responses and marking you for this particular exam and on february the second the announcement for the second round results will be done now this is not the publishing of the winners list like they won't say if you have won the scholarship or not yet this is merely the announcement of your scores now what happens this is very interesting for open doors scholarship exam is there will be an appeal phase where you can appeal any answer within the time period of february the 2nd to february the 7th so for example they have not awarded any points for you for a particular question and you do not agree with their decision then you can appeal their decision and you will get a section where you can write down the reason why you do not agree with their decision why you think that you should be awarded points for this particular answer and you can submit it to them and then they will reanalyze and also take into consideration your comments and then they will give a final verdict whether you should get the marks for that particular answer or you should not but after the appeal process whatever verdict they come up with that's final and can't be challenged any further now once the appeal phase is gone on february 10th the final announcement of the winners and the prize winners in the master's track will be published on the open doors website itself so if you're one of those lucky students who get the scholarship congratulations that's the end of your journey of going through the exam phases or going through the screening after this you just have to prepare your documents and get them notarized and then submit it to the open doors committee and they will take care of your admission henceforth now if you are applying for a phd then you have to go through one more step and it is the interview rounds so in the third round which will take place from february 11th to march 9th you will be interviewed by the potential supervisors in your particular field who are also interested in interviewing you so the supervisors have the opportunity to select you if they want to interview you they do this by reading your motivation letter by reading your cv or any other document that you have uploaded during the first round that is a portfolio round and once you are done with the interview now what you have to do is sit back relax and wait for some positive news from this particular interview and on march 14th the announcement for the final winners and prize winners in the doctoral track will be published on this particular website itself now if you are interested to find out who are the potential supervisors that might be able to interview you or if you want to figure out if you are interested in working with them what are their subjects of interest what are they working on then you simply need to go and click on your particular subject choice for example if i click on biology and biotechnology I will be redirected to but this particular page where you can see there's a demo version there's a demo exam that you can take on your own and get the feel of this particular screening process especially the second round the proctored exam uh, here's the program of the subject area that's basically the syllabus that you need to study 
the topics which you might like to prepare and the questions will be coming from the topics that is mentioned in this particular document nothing outside from this then here you can also read the interview outline the rules for the interview this is for the phd people and finally there's the list of potential scientific supervisors so if you click on this link you will be redirected to a list of potential supervisors from several universities with their areas of interest and sometimes they also include the skills that they are looking for from the candidates so that's a good way to get to know your supervisors i also advise you to email them and get to know more about them talk to them it is a really healthy practice to establish a connection with your potential supervisor it really helps during the interview and also massively increases your chances of cracking this particular scholarship exam so that's all that you need to do for applying for this particular scholarship it's very easy very systematic and also if you go down here you can see the email id that is open doors at the rate globaluni.ru they are super helpful people whenever you are stuck in any sort of problem just feel free to send them an email and they will respond and cater to all of your questions that has been the experience with me at least so that's all i had for all of you guys today I wish you good luck with your journey of studying abroad with your scholarship journey. If you have any more questions regarding open doors, feel free to reach out to me. You can put your questions in the comment section below or you can also reach out to me on any of my social media handles. You can find them linked in the description box below. So that's it for today and I will see you soon again with another video. Till then, stay happy and stay healthy.